Hi, great to see you. Welcome to the course Fundamental Cryptography in Theory and Python. My name is Cyril Gassi. I'm a computer scientist from ETH Zurich. I work as a cybersecurity expert for a large multinational and globally operating company, and I'm a cryptography lecturer at the Swiss University. I developed this course with having a couple of goals in mind. The first goal I have with this course is that once you complete this course, you should have a good understanding of cryptography as a tool to realize the classic goals of information security. The second goal I have with this course is that once you complete this course, you should also have good knowledge about the existing fundamental cryptographic primitives and understand the security notion that's associated with each of these cryptographic primitives. Goal number three is that once you complete this course, you should be able to apply your theoretical understanding of fundamental cryptography by using the various cryptographic primitives in Python, and even more to have a basic idea on how to implement the majority of these primitives in Python yourself. For this course, I actually also have a goal for myself in mind, which is that for the whole duration of this course, it's my aim to continuously animate you to stay engaged and to also not just always simply present you with all the ideas and solutions right away, but to provoke you with targeted questions and with this to hopefully jointly develop many of the ideas that we will get to know together. Looking now at the actual content of the course, it's clear that this is a course that evolves around the four classic security goals of cryptography, with these security goals being confidentiality, integrity, authenticity, and non-repudiation. Over the duration of this course, we will have a close look at each of these security goals, where we first develop an intuitive understanding of the security goal itself, and with this, then dive into cryptography and we'll explore what cryptographic primitives exist that can help to implement these security goals in digital information systems. For confidentiality, we will get to know symmetric encryption, asymmetric encryption, hybrid encryption, and key exchange. The primitive we will get to see are the AES block cipher with the ECB and CBC block cipher modes of operation, the RSA encryption scheme, and the Diffie-Hellman key exchange EDH and ECDHE. For integrity, we will get to know the structure, properties, and security of cryptographic hash functions, and we'll have a closer look at the security of four of the most widespread cryptographic hash functions, MD5, SHA-1, SHA-2, and SHA-3. Going into authenticity, we will get to know message authentication codes with HMAX, authenticated encryption with the encrypt then MAC approach, and authenticated encryption with associated data with the GCM block cipher mode of operation. For the fourth security goal of non-repudiation, we will have a close look at digital signatures, which come across in different flavors, such as digital signature systems based on RSA, DSA, elliptic curve-based DSA, or ED25519 and ED448. Now, the title of this course is Fundamental Cryptography in Theory and Python. This actually already indicates that besides the purely theoretical exploration of the subject, I will always immediately follow up on a theoretical introduction to a cryptographic primitive with a part where I will demonstrate how to use the cryptographic primitive in Python, and even more for many of the major primitives we will get to know, we will also demonstrate how this cryptographic primitive can be implemented in Python. This will allow us to gain an even deeper understanding of the subject, but we should not forget that all the implementations I will demonstrate are implementations serving educational purposes and are not implementations that should be used in any real world production systems. So much for the introduction, let's get started with the course.